right here. Well, good morning, Sir James. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody in the YouTube land today. It is 6, 10 16, and today is June the 7th, on a Friday. It's already 82 degrees and it's humid because it's so hot. Oh, look at all this trash somebody throws down right here. That's diaper trash. You see that dirty diaper over there? I do. Ugh. I'm going to have to pick that up. I think I'll wait till I get home though. Maybe it'll blow over on the other side. <laughs> Daggone it. I just cleaned this up yesterday too. I took a flat shovel and I cleaned all up down my driveway. I edged it and everything. Gee. Well, maybe by the time I get back today, the diaper will be dried out some. See all those ant nests you mowed over. Man, there's a oh, ton of them down here. Oh, no, no, that was ants. That's where I cleaned up uh Oh, the drain. You know all the weeds that was going up and down my driveway? Oh, I went out man. and I spaded them all and threw the dirt over there. Well, you can see how I think that's that nest, right? Oh, okay. And we've got a lot of ants this year, too. All right, let's see what they're saying here. Wow. Okay, so we have, thank goodness I got my buck. We have <coughs> telemarketer. Well, they love me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 to do today. We got plenty of time. We can get it done. Uh. So Mariah left a comment on that yesterday's video I put up. She said she's already got two what she call them? Rolling turds. She's talking about your van and my van both. But, I mean, you know, she don't appreciate the beauty of these old vehicles. Anyhow, so uh, we'll see y'all in a little bit. We'll see what we get into today. I'm sure we're going to get into a lot. Now, uh, you notice I did a lot of extra work back there. I took my head trimmers and what is it, about 100 feet of trees or 75 or 100? Anyways, and I trimmed them. Yeah, I was getting beat up when I mowed back there. Yeah, and uh, I know I don't do that. You know, I don't do that everywhere. But this is what I call a premium customer. Do you all have premium customers? And the reason I call him premium, he's every week. Whatever I say is a fair price, he pays it. And honestly, how long did it take me? Maybe five, ten minutes back there. And so when I need, when I see something needs done around here, instead of making, because I mean, he'd have paid one hundred twenty-five dollars for that if I'd have told him. But I don't try to suck every dollar out of everybody. I try to do do a good day's work, and if you're a good customer, you're gonna get extra service not good service extra service anyway so that's number one down I know I didn't record anything here but trust me we just did one yard then we do one yard all yeah. right give me an amen it's one. so he says amen that means it's got to be true right yeah amen okay y'all remember me telling you a while back about this bald tire we still have it. Now we do have a new one here and we got one in the back of the truck. 
We're not lacking a tire. It's just I'm amazed about how long it's gone so far. Wow. Only you that's been following the channel would know how long that tire's been like that. It's probably been like that for six weeks. Why don't you change it, Wesley? Well, because I got a dually. I can let one blow, pull over and change it. I get all the life out of it I can get. Well, the big boy quit running. I'm guessing it's a fuel pump. I don't think I have another one on me, but I may have one in the truck. If I do, I'll throw it on there. Well, I do have a spare mower fuel pump, but it's got a hole in it right there for some reason. Now, do you know that ain't going to work with that hole? But I do have some JB Weld in here, and it's quick set. So I'm going to see if I can go ahead and uh, put that JB Weld quick set on there and see if that'll fix it. <coughs> I think if the um, switch... Man, I'm about to choke to death. <coughs> Doggone it. <coughs> it's like I got a little piece of grass in my throat or something, you know. Okay, so what I did is I did have another fuel pump in the truck, but it was broke. It had a brake right here, had a hole in it right there, and then the lip, the nipple was busted off right here. So I took a gas filter 
because I keep the spare gas filter too. And I JB welded it onto here. And I plugged that hole up with JB weld. And I believe this is a pretty new pump. I don't know how it got busted. <coughs> but whatever, it was sticking sticking in here. I don't remember. <coughs> I don't remember why it was off the mower, but there it is. If I didn't plug it, it might be all right. <coughs> it's worked by the uses the <coughs> pulse of the engine. <coughs> so me and James, we're going to go ahead and do this um, ditch up here that we do once a month, and let this sit and cure for a long time, and then we're going to unplug. The other fuel pump on the mower and see if it's pumping any fuel it died just like it was out now I had the same thoughts as James and said it might be plugged and it could be because you know the mower is six or seven years old it's been used to pieces you know there's got to be debris in there so that could be it but we will see now if it don't pump and it's plugged then it's still not going to be the fuel pump. But what we'll do is we'll take and drain the gas out of it and then run from the other side. Actually, I tried running from the other side. However, the other side was so low, I don't know if there's any fuel in it. But I do have a little extra fuel in the truck here. Yeah, we can always try that. A little bit of fuel on the other side. <laughs> I think I got a bug in my throat.
I can't by myself. Different. Okay, James walked over here, and the first thing he noticed is this hose right here is broke. Right, let me show it to you. I got it. The hose is broke. And James your, spotted it right off, so we're going to cut the end of it off. I hope it's long enough to fit. That's your suction hose for your pulse. And without your pulse from the engine, it won't run. Do we have enough to fit on there? I'm wondering. Well, I think we Boy, should. it's pretty short, James. It's short, but I think we can stretch her. Cut her off there, I think. I think we can get it on there. For, yeah, there's, there's enough there. All right. This is little... You got your multi-tool? Yeah. Hang on it. You got it? Let me hold it up there so you can have Here. more room to do stuff with. There you go. You hold this line up out of there. Maybe in this heat it'll stretch a little bit. How can I get from this angle? That's okay. I think you're all right. There you go, buddy. You got it. By gosh. Well, weren't we very pleased that James seen that? Uh, but now I don't know if my fuel filter works. You know, my little... I think it will. So I'm going to put it back in here. And someday a fuel pump might go out. Probably. I've only had a few of them going out. Honestly and truthfully, I may have had one fuel pump go out on me in 24 years. There's just not a lot to them to go bad. I mean, they just last forever. Unless the little diaphragm in there rips or dry rocks or just being old. And you know what? It probably is. Since that, since that pipe was bad. Yeah. I bet you all the rubber pieces on that mower's going bad. All right, you guys, so I'm very pleased James got it fixed. But we'll say it was a team effort. I'll take a little bit of credit. A little bit. I fixed the new fuel pump. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're on to the next one. Well, y'all know that old international I seen the other day? I just got two old cars right here where I'm at. That one. And then there's that... And that one right there. That's a beauty. We'll go over there and find out what year it is in just a second. Where's the roof? Wow. That's a beaut. What's the engine you got in it? 345? 345. Yeah, I you, you knew it. I had a bucket truck with it. Oh, okay. A bucket truck, a four-wheel drive bucket truck. It's massive. I got a same ten, engine. I got a 10 ton load starter with the same engine. <laughs> and I got it. I actually got a 392 transmission sitting at my house. Yeah. I'm waiting for the truck to need it. Because I had a ton, a ton international. Well, this looks like sitting <sighs> on a scout traveler chassis. Wow. So it's four-wheel drive. And what's your name? Joe Smith. Joe Smith, let me see his truck, you guys. I appreciate it. The 51. It's a beauty. And you know what? The one I seen the other day, I said I don't want to paint it or anything. It's all <laughs> hey, thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it. Wow, that's a beauty. Y'all see what happens when you let your truck get too low on fuel? 74, 64. Mm -mm -mm. Well, good morning, you guys. This is the next day. Um, me and James did go ahead and we got another few yards done. We didn't do our total 12. I think we got um, 9. Uh, yeah. Nine or ten done. But anyways, it's next morning and it is seven o'clock. And I just want to jump on here and tell you guys I really appreciate your your comments. I love to to interact with everyone. 
and the thumbs up and all that. I just really appreciate it, and I just wanted y'all to know that. And me and Mariah is fixing to get up right now and go out, and uh, we're going to Knoxville, and we got three in Maryville left to do that me and James didn't get done. So, you know, it's going to be a long day, but um doesn't look like we're going to have any rain or anything. So y'all take care, and God bless, and uh keep on commenting because I really love to converse with you. And if y'all would like, us to have a live, uh, I would enjoy that too. But, you know, just let us know and, uh, we'll pop it on during the day sometime when we're out working and chat with you a little bit. Y'all take care.